Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at problem twenty one, chapter twelve. Chapter twelve is about the static balanced. In this one, we need, when we need to make the object static balanced, we must make the net force equal to zero and the net torque equal to zero. Now we look at this system. In this system, we have a traffic light has from a stick. A B the length of A B is given L, and the mass of the stick is given. The mass for the traffic light is given, and then you can see the distance A to C is given, right? And uh, angle theta, thirty seven, thirty seven degree, is given. Now we do the force analysis. We can see we have the force acted by the traffic light gravity, the gravity for this stick, and then the tension from the Cable CD, and it also the force act on the rotation axis A point, right? And we don't know we call it FP. It has X component and a Y component. The first part we need to make sure the net torque is zero to find the tension for this cable CD. So we need to find FT. How can we do that? We can consider the net torque is zero. So we consider this as the rotation axis. And then we can we can write the net torque act on this uh, point. First one we look at the FT. We can see FT the perpendicular distance from the FT to this rotation axis H. Agree? You can draw a line. See the distance from FT to this rotation just H. So first term we have FT H. The second one we look at the mass for the stick, and it's. Uh, Mg the distance from this Mg to the rotation axis. You can draw it. You can see it is just a half of this side. So it is a half of this side. L divided by two cosine theta. The next one we look at is the traffic light. The gravity Mg the distance from the gravity to the rotation axis L cosine theta. Right. Then we can write this equation. Net torque equal to zero. And then you can use the right hand side rule to determine its uh, uh, direction. And this one is up, this one is positive, negative, negative. And then you solve this uh, equation, get the function for FT. Input all the quantities, you get the final answer there. The next one is to find the FTX and FPX. So, how can we do that? We can consider the net force is zero. We apply Newton's second law, right? We can see in the x component, the force is balanced. So Fpx min minus Ft equal to zero. And then look at the y component. We have Fpy minus capital Mg minus the small Mg equal to zero. So these two equations, we can get the function for Fpx, Fpy, input the quantities, get the final answer there. Thank you.